student athletes, Jalen Shorter, Hope Savori, and Reagan Berger. Coach, comments? Sucks. <laughs> uh, that's, you know, to see us fight back like that and, uh, you know, uh, to kind of get that, get where we had that opportunity and to not capitalize on it. Uh, you know, it's frustrating and it's just frustrating because you, you hate to see it for your kids. Uh, you know, I, I can't say, you know, we deserve to win that game like I told the kids in the locker room, uh, but we fought hard enough where, where, where we had that chance. And, uh, you know, uh, but, you know, George Rogers Clark did the same thing. You know, we knew it was going to be a grind. We knew it was going to be a battle, um, you know, for four quarters. And, you know, they have to finish up on top. Uh, but I'm proud of our kids. You know, uh, you know, there was a time where they went on a nice little run and we could have folded. And uh, we did a nice job stepping up. And, you know, these three ladies right here definitely uh, had a hell of a game tonight. Uh, you know, that's what everybody said, you know, Jalen Shorter, you know, she was a young lady, honestly, when she first started playing basketball, I didn't think would be a four-year player at Mercy. Uh, but it's one kid that's totally worked her butt off uh, to get where she is. And, you know, uh, the charges she took tonight, you know, that, that's a difference maker. Uh, and it was a big difference maker tonight because it got some of their their, uh, their better players in trouble. And, you know, that definitely helped us. Uh, and then Reagan shot the ball extremely well, and, and so did Hope. Um, but there was a couple th things that we just didn't do. We, we started out working our game plan really, really well. And then toward the end of the second quarter, you know, we were in the triangle too. And there was really no, uh, not hiding it or anything. It just, but then we didn't rebound. Um, and you can see that on the stat sheet. Um, you know, the 22 offensive rebounds, you're not going to win many games giving that up, especially when they double you. Uh, we only had 11. Um, but, you know, extremely proud of these kids. Um, and you'll love them to death. I told them sometimes they're very frustrating. Uh, they'll drive you nuts in practice a lot of times. Uh, but, but they're just great kids and uh, great kids to be around. Questions for the media? Right here. Uh, Harrison just had one shot left in the first half. He over scoreless. Was it just a matter of missing her a few times there in the second half? Or, uh... Uh, yeah, it, it was. I mean, it was. We tried to go to some, you know, one, two, two, some half court trap, which has really been our go to defense the last several years. And we just lost track of her. And, you know, we, we gave up the middle. And, you know, against them, they know how to find their shooters. You know, if you give up the middle, they're going to, you know, that's that's kind of the the spot you definitely don't want the ball to get to in the, in a, when you're in the one two two trap. And, you know, turn, sure enough, they caught the ball there, turned and found her, and boom, she knocked it down. Uh, you know, give them credit. They made plays. I mean, we, we tried our best. We did a, a lot of things, you know, good. And we did a lot of things not so good. And when we did the not so good, they capitalized on it. Like from the beginning, like having injuries and some of us like getting hurt. I think the team, like at the end of the day, we still like had each other's backs. And it's not always like how you finish on the court. Like I feel like as a whole, as a team, like a lot of us grew and got stronger because we were there for each other. Um, I rate it as about an eight and a half. And I agree with Jalen. Um, it didn't end like how we wanted, but I'm super proud of my teammates. We never gave up on each other. Um, someone fell. We were always there to pick them up on and off the court. Um, no one was ever standing alone. I mean, I'm pretty proud of us. Um, I rate it probably like an eight because I think that we were like a roller coaster. We had some games that we did really good. We had some games we did really not so good. <laughs> but um, honestly, not many people thought we'd even be here today. And so we upset a lot of teams. And I think that. Overall, we ended up coming together, even though we didn't win today. I think we are still one team. And, you know, Final question. Kobe didn't have much time there on that last play, but can you just kind of take us through what, what you saw? Um, well, honestly, I thought we stopped one more timeout. 
So I was just kind of dribbling down, and then I realized like there's a whole other timeout because Keith had already called it. So, but then I dribbled the ball off my foot. <laughs> so I just had to like catch myself, and then I looked up the clock, and there was one second, so I just had to let it go. Yeah, that's that's what I saw. There is, you know, that, that, at the end of the game, we want her being the playmaker. There's no doubt on that. And you know, she was coming down. You could see it. I don't know if they hit her foot or or whatever. You could see her just lose the handle of it. And once I saw that, I knew it was going to be desperation mode there. But you know, it was kind of wild. You know, where there's a play we've been working on <laughs> for the last couple of weeks with six seconds on the clock, and to get six point six seconds on the clock. Uh, you know, I wish we could have executed a little bit better on it, but we didn't get it. But like I said, you know, absolutely love these kids and, and what they've done this year. Um, you know, uh, people thought I was crazy. We scheduled uh, Hamilton Heights on a Friday night and then Riverdale, Tennessee, two of the top ten teams in the country. And everybody's like, what the heck are you doing scheduling those two teams back to back? And I said, you're only going to get better from it. And, you know, I think that helped get us over the hump and get us to here to rough. And just extremely proud of the girls being the one of 16 teams to ever get to play in here in high school. Um, you know, just proud of them and love them to death. On that note, Coach, congratulations to you and the Mercy Jaguars on a great season.